do the slow um, assessment within curriculum. So before you start this assessment, only one faculty will be the lead. Um, if there is more than one faculty teaching the same course, um, they will only do the second half of the process. So only one faculty will do this first half. So once you designate a lead, uh, after being in Curriculum, you go down to Build, and then you'll see Outcomes Assessment. So we'll choose Outcomes Assessment on that left menu. If you have any that you're currently working on, you'll see them below with a pencil, which allows you to edit. Um, if they don't have a pencil, that means they've already been submitted and cannot be edited. Um, but we're going to start a new one. So again, on that left-hand side, you see Start New Assessment. Again, only one faculty member will start new. So we'll choose Start New Assessment, and we'll go through the menu. The title will fill in itself. Outcome type is SLO. Outcomes effective date is the semester of the assessment. Proposal type will stay New Outcome Assessment. We'll skip exempt for a second. Discipline, choose your course. And when you choose the course, make sure you choose the active version. So whatever course it is, choose the active version. And then we need to decide, did we assess the course or is it exempt? So if it's exempt, you'll check exempt and then choose a reason. New course, not offered, and so on. Um, if it was assessed, um, we're going to uncheck that and we'll choose OK when we confirm We've selected everything correct. We'll go ahead and select the SLOs. We can assess all of them in one assessment. You don't need to do them separately, so check them all. And then choose a goal. So this is up to your department or faculty. Um, there's no right answer. So in a successful class, we'll say 75% for this course. And we'll choose Save. And now we can see in the top right, we have a checklist that we're going to go through. So I'm going to follow the checklist, enter CRNs. So we'll enter the CRN. Um, the modality is how the class was offered, how many students, and we'll choose add. And then if there's more than one faculty or more than one section, we'll add those. So if I had another section, I could type another CRN. If there's another faculty member, you can choose that faculty member and again type the CRN. So those faculty members will log in and I'll show you how to do that step later. So if there's other faculty, add them. It will show up in their curriculum and we'll do that at the end. So let's say this class only had two sections. We'll go ahead and hit finish. And enter CRNs is checked off. We'll go down to assessment plan for each user. Um, how did they assess it? Um, was it through classwork? Was it anything, right? How did you decide to assess the SLO? Let's just say this was through a test. And then we'll give some examples of how we assessed. And we'll hit save. Um, maybe the other section was different, so we'll select how, they, how the assessment was measured. Um, some examples of how. We'll hit save. And now that we've gone through all the sections, we'll hit finish. And the assessment plan is done. And then we'll go to enter scores. So this page is where more faculty have to um, log in. So I can only enter scores for my own section. Same with the assessment plan. If there were more faculty, they'll have to do this when they log into their account. We'll do it at the end. Um, so enter scores. Um, since these are both mine, I'm able to see them. So for each SLO, you're, in each section, you'll enter scores. So I'm just going to go through each of these. There's six of them. I'm going to go through all six. So we had 35 students in the class. Maybe 30 of them took the assessment. And let's say 29 met the target score for the first SLO. And again, give some examples. Check yes and hit save. And then the next SLO, maybe still 30 took it, right? But only 25 met the target score. Choose an option and give some examples. 
And always make sure you say yes, the form is completed. And then repeat one more time. Each SLO might have a different number that met the target score. Always check yes, that's the one step we seem to forget. And so now my first section is done and I'll repeat for the second section. If it were a different instructor, they will do this from their own account. So I'll go through the second one a little quickly. Let's say this is a different course. Maybe 32 took the assessment. Um, this is up to you what your assessment is and what meeting the target score is. So some examples. Yes, this is complete. Yes, this is complete. That's the easiest thing to forget. So unfortunately, if you have like 10 sections, this does need to be done 10 times. Uh, but if there's more than one faculty member, uh, it does split up the work. And you'll see that once we go through all the scores, we'll hit finish and it will check off. Um, if you're waiting for other faculty to do it, you'll have to wait till they go through it and then you'll come back as the lead. So if there's more faculty, you'll wait and then you'll come back and do the course summary. Origination date would just be today, the current date, the date that you're inputting this. And then you'll just go through and reflect a little. So how well do the current outcomes reflect what students need to learn? You choose. Um, give some examples. If Give some examples. And again, a few more examples. Um, this page only needs to be completed once by the lead. So this page does not need to be repeated. The only pages that will be done by more than one person are the plan and the scores. So the course summary is only by the lead. Um, if you have a file, you can add it. It's not required, but if you have anything, you can add it. We'll choose Save, and we'll choose Finish. And then you'll see the checklist is complete, and you can submit. Again, if there's more faculty that need to enter scores, the submit will not show up until they all show their scores. So let's jump over. What does this look like if you're not the lead? So if you're not the lead, same thing. You'll log into Curriculum. On the left-hand side, you'll go to Outcomes Assessment. But instead of starting a new assessment, it will actually pop up. So Math 1 is one where I was added, but I was not the lead. So I'll choose the pencil. And you'll see Main and Enter CRNs are already done. You'll see there is no course summary because I'm not the lead. So all I have to do is my assessment plan and enter scores. So every faculty that's been added to a course just has to do these two steps. Assessment plan, same as before, and enter scores. And I can only see my own self. And the outcomes will pop up. And when you're done as that person, you'll hit finish so that um, the lead will see it get checked off. If you forget to hit finish, um, the lead will also not be able to finish. And that's the process. So after the other faculty go in, the lead will come back. They'll go on the left again to outcomes assessment. And then as the lead, you'll go to pencil as well. And you'll see your list has been checked off. If your list is not checked off, you can go back to enter scores and you can see who hasn't done it. You'll see a red X if they've missed one, so you can let them know to go back. And once you're done, you'll choose submit on the left.